Ryan Ferguson and his father Bill are with us now from Columbia, Missouri, for their first sit-down interview since being released. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I can imagine you never thought you might see this day or you always believed you would, but now that it has arrived, tell us your emotions. My emotions, personally, uh, I don't think they've caught up to me yet. It's, it's amazing. Um, you know, it's quite early in the morning. I haven't really had the opportunity to experience the day yet, but I know as it unfolds, uh, there will be new adventures and, and it'll be incredible. So uh, definitely looking forward to getting into the day. You have said that to get arrested and get charged for a crime you didn't commit is incredibly easy and you use your life very it fast. Is. But to get out of prison, it takes an army. Tell me about that. It does. Well, it does take an army and fortunately we had the Marines and that was in the form of Kathleen Zillner and uh, that made all the difference in the world. Kathleen save the day for our family. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But Ryan, what about your parents? I mean, you, you gave a shout out to your parents who have stood by you this entire time or nearly a decade. It no doubt begins and ends with my, my parents. Uh, you know, they've been there since day one. They believed in me. They've taken the time to look at all the facts and they have been fighting nonstop. And that includes my sister as well, my whole family. They have been incredible and without them, I know that you know it would have been very difficult for me to have hope and have faith in, in the process and to be there when Kathleen came along to be able to help us. How do you restrain what must be a sense of, of deep injustice, a sense of rage, even the hostility you should feel or might feel to uh, Mr. Erickson uh, who helped put you there? You know, uh, Mr. Erickson was used and uh, that's pure and simple. I think it's it's easy to see that by looking at the facts, and you know there needs to be accountability for the way he was used. And there's multiple cases where other individuals have been, you know, kind of pushed into false confessions. So that's a whole another subject. It would take quite a while to delve into that completely. But uh, you know, I feel sorry for that individual. Uh, hopefully, he'll get justice one day. So, what are the things you think you might want to do now? the things that I might want to do. <laughs> I need to get clothes. Uh, <laughs> it's really just the basic things, the fundamentals, the things people overlook on a daily basis. So just, I need to build my life back. I want to ask Ryan and Bill, did you ever, ever expect um, this to happen this quickly? I mean, most people thought it was going to take months. Absolutely. Well, we're quite surprised. Uh, actually, we thought it would more likely happen today uh, if it were going to happen. It wasn't a question. Uh, if it was going to happen, it was a question of when it was going to happen. So, uh, yeah, we're surprised and uh, we're, we're so, uh, so excited, absolutely. And Bill, what about Aaron Moriarty, you know, who has been on this case from the beginning in 48 hours? Well, they just did an excellent, excellent job. They were the leaders. Those are the ones that uh, brought the attention to this case back in 2006. Uh, they started filming during the trial 2005, and they just stayed with it all the way through. And uh, it just means so much to us. That, that's, that was tremendous. Tremendous. Uh, congratulations uh, to you and your family and your father and your attorney who fought so hard to make this happen. And also to our own Aaron Moriarty, whose coverage for 48 hours uh, led, I think, to the uh, attorney who helped do so much for them to get involved in the case. I, so. I think the focus on this case, particularly now, I think may have helped contribute to the fact they decided not to retry him. I, they didn't drag it out any longer. I think there was so much focus on this case. Great work. Thank you. Thank you again, Ryan and Bill Ferguson. Thank you.